Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today you join me here at Projects Design UK with my Mark 7 Golf R. Things are really getting out of hand with this car now. The amount of stuff I've got on order and in the pipeline is crazy and today we're going to be fitting some new wheels and tyres to the car. Now yes, the original Pretorias are lovely wheels, really nice wheels. I ran them uh, on my original Mark 7.5 Golf R. I found no reason to change them. But for this, everything is going to be changed on this car, especially the tyres. Um, now a lot of people said in my kind of first track day, track session kind of video, uh, which went up recently on the channel, that why have I gone power first and not kind of handling wheels, tyres, that kind of thing. This car is a project, it is a process, and I just decided to do power first. It was kind of just the thing which appealed to me the most. Maybe not the, the cleverest of ideas, but hey hey, we've done it now. Um, but today is not about that. We're all about the wheels and tyres for the car. We do have coilovers coming and a load of handling stuff uh, along with the uh, kind of transformation of the interior and actually quite a few aesthetic things as well. Um, so yeah, lots of things in the pipeline, wheels and tyres today. So without further hesitation, let's get the car inside the Projects Workshop, get this changed. And I think it's gonna make a big, big difference to how this car looks. Okay, so car is all already up on the ramp. Um, now before I actually show you the new wheels and get these old ones off, I do need to show you them just because in case you missed uh, any previous videos, I showed you just the, the condition of these wheels. They're not great. And by the way, yes, the locking wheel nuts have been removed on all four wheels uh, just initially. Um, now, rather than basically getting these refurbed and running the Pretorias, because like I said, they're great wheels, I would happily do that. Um, but to be honest, these new set of wheels really, really caught my eye and I do really like them and cannot wait to see what they look like on the car. Um, it is all repairable, um, but just they're old wheels. I don't think they've ever been refurbished in their life. Um, they are a really nice color though, which is why I've stuck with a similar color uh, for the replacements. Um, and actually it made sense to, when doing the wheels, to do the tires as well, of course. The different wheels are a different size um, and ultimately on a car or a performance car, you wanna have a, good tires on the car, which yes, they are good. Eagle F ones on the front and Perlet Super Sports on the rear, I think. Um, but it just makes sense to have the same tire on all four corners. Yes, the two fronts are F ones uh, and the two rears are Super Sports. But ultimately, where this car is going, it's gonna live on the track. I'm going down the slicks route or the semi slicks route, sorry, should I say not, not full on slicks. Um, but yeah, it, it's gonna be a wicked setup, especially with the rest of the car. Coilovers going on soon. And of course, the six pot uh, big brake kit up front for Forge Motorsport as well. The car is really getting there now and I cannot wait to see what it looks like. So I think we'll get these off first initially, get the car wheelless and then I'll show you the new ones and then it'll be a case of, uh, well, getting them all fitted. Okay, so the original Pretorias are now off the car. They will never be on this car again. And of course, at the moment, the car is wheelless. But down here, just in front of me, we have the new wheel and tire setup. How good do these look? So of course, just giving you a rundown, we have a set of Aspiri FFR1s finished in carbon gray brushed, like I mentioned when the uh, original Pretorias were on the car. I wanted to keep a very similar color. Um, but of course, if you look closely, we've got that brushed effect which is actually a little bit shiny actually when it catches the light. Of course, a very similar color to the original Pretorias. I didn't want black wheels, gloss black or satin black, anything like that, purely because I think brake dust is gonna be an issue with this car being driven on the limit a lot. And I think the gray wheels are specifically this kind of color will hide that brake dust. Now some dimensions of these wheels, they are 19s. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be wondering why I didn't go 18s because traditionally that is just a, a better kind of setup for a track car. I'll be honest, maybe I will do that somewhere down the line, but these wheels really did uh, appeal to me and I think that they've come out really, really well. Uh, they're 8.5J all around and they are ET42. Of course, paired to that, we have, of course, the magnificent Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. These are 235-35-19s all round. There is no stretch at all. And of course, with these wheels as well, we don't need to run any spaces whatsoever. 
but what do you guys think? Carbon grey brushed FFR1s with Pilot Sport Cup 2s. I cannot wait to see what these things are gonna look like on the car. Of course, the prets that are on the car weren't in brilliant condition. They were a bit tatty, did definitely need a refurb. But so I think that these wheels are really gonna smarten the car up, make it look absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait to see the contrast between the lapis blue and the carbon gray brush. Now at the moment we do have to put one last wheel fitted up to the tire and then once that's all done then it would basically be a case of getting them all fitted up on the car to see the finished result and of course to see it out moving and uh, yeah to see what it looks like and I cannot wait. So then what we'll do, we'll get that done then we'll get them fitted on the car. Okay, so the final wheel has now been fitted up to the tire, getting fitted on the car. Now it is very, very close to the brakes. And actually, if I come around this side, you can see that we have the offside front fitted. How good is that looking? We've probably got about three mil between the spoke and the caliper, but that is looking absolutely amazing. Obviously a ridiculous arch gap at the moment because the car is jacked up in the air. We've got the Sport Cup 2s with the FFR1s. This is gonna look so, so cool. Actually, the rear one is just going on as well. This is all happening very, very quickly. I definitely think that this was the right color combo because I think that maybe like a, a gloss black or something would really hide um, the design of the wheels. And uh, yeah, this is gonna look really, really cool, especially when clean. And to be honest, this car is not really gonna be clean very much. But yeah, we'll get this all buttoned up, all sorted back on the ground to ultimately see the finished result. Wow, this has completely transformed this car. Absolutely incredible. Not only does it look good, it's gonna drive so much better as well. We've got a matching set of Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires on the car as well. The, the tires that were on the car before were good. They weren't budget tires. They weren't like that rubbish stuff that you see on cars nowadays. They were good tires. Um, just the fact that the fronts were on Goodyear's, the rears were on Michelin's, I wanted to change it up. And being a track car, I wanted to get something special. I might go kind of down the Nankang route or maybe down to the R R route maybe one day, but at least for now, we're going with the Cup 2s, tyres are consumables, they're not going to be looking like this for much longer um, because actually we do have quite a few track sessions booked or track days booked, should I say. The car has never wanted coilovers so much until now, especially the rears, but once that is all done, this car is going to look incredible. Now I have plans to change the colour, obviously finished in lapis blue at the moment. It's not the tidiest of cars being quite a high mileage car, 83,000 miles on the clock now, um, and there will be a wrap coming, but I don't want to give too much away it's going to be quite special but at least for now this is the new look of the car i am absolutely over the moon with how these have turned out we're just speaking to the guys here everyone is so pleased that we went for uh, a gray finish rather than the black finish because you'd lose all the design in the wheels um, and along with the brakes behind it just looks so good i am so so happy and i think all that is left for me to do now is to get the old wheels and tires hopefully fitted in the back of the car and then hit the road uh, it won't be the most exciting of first drives but at least just make my way back home with the new setup and it's looking amazing i am so happy so a big thank you to the guys here at project design uk for supplying the wheels and helping me out by fitting everything up for me today you can of course find all their links and information down in the description down below um, but yeah absolutely over the moon let's hop in the car and go for a drive i know i've said it multiple times in this video but i am so happy with how this car looks now it is looking to be honest almost like a different car it is unbelievable how much a set of wheels can change and transform a car and this is definitely no exception i am so happy uh, with how it is looking now and really really looking forward to actually getting the car back on track back on the limit and uh well seeing how it performs really and yes there's still a lot more um, to be done to the car uh, but wheels and tires to be honest is something i should have done to the car even before i went on track for the first time um, but I couldn't help myself. It was still good fun. And it was only one little session I did. So to be honest, in all honesty, I haven't done a proper full-on track day uh, in the car yet, but that is happening very soon. 
um, yeah, typical, stuck in traffic already. But yeah, a massive thank you to the guys at Projects Design UK uh, for helping me out with the whole setup and making today possible. Um, like I mentioned, you can find all their details down in the description down below. Regardless, I can safely say that this clutch is not made for sitting in traffic. <laughs> so hopefully this doesn't last for too long. But anyway, I think for me today, that is gonna wrap things up. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of the new wheel and tire setup. Would you have done the same thing? Would you have gone for something different? Let me know, always open to your thoughts. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.